J Alexander, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome everybody. I just did. That was fast. Welcome everybody. We're playing some ramp druid. It's kind of a list I saw that's running BGBM. Hey Theo. Yeah. I did some coaching on Ramp Druid today. Often I do a coaching day. I'm like, I should play this deck. It's fun, right? Hmm. I guess I want to. So they don't do a freeze on this. I want to go scale next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think I, think I take the face damage here. All patched up. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't have taken the face damage. I should have, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Because now they give him a freeze target, but it's not a big deal. JJ, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, I gotta end real fast. Uh, what do I do here? This is awkward. How curious. Time run low. Is it easy? I got him in my hand. The, 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 that's just computer technology. Guff? Son of a guff, Chad. Go, um... Uh, how I'm doing with it? Um, I'd say uh, a safe, uh, a reasonable number would be forty. Twenty-five is probably the 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 lowest sample size allowed for statistical inferences and stats. Generally, forty is like so. Mm. 
Double secret's so annoying here. Seems good. Could really use a Guffy boy here. Who's better at the game? Uh, historically, Tice has money much for many more tournament wins, a much more money one. Uh, almost played in EU. Most metrics would say Tice is better, but it's there's a lot of judgments. It's a subjective decision. You could make an argument for me. So. So many contradictions. I don't know here. Other games I play Path of Exile. I play a little chess. I haven't played much chess lately. I play with poker. I, I I played a lot of poker and chess back in the day, but I haven't in a while. So, um, do I have lethal here? Thirty-two, thirty-six. Not quite. What? Right. Oh, we know it's Fenchel Visage. Uh, oh, it's really bad, actually. Oh, it's really bad. So much damage to take. Oh God, but do I want to take it here? So many contradictions. Uh, it's so bad. I think if I don't push face damage, though, I don't win. Stand the time run low. That's starfish. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, Skiffin. I could have done that. Yeah, it would have been better. Yeah, that was better. Okay. Yeah, I, for, I forgot about the... That makes the stats a lot lower. And it lowers the... Yeah, that was better line. A lot better. I missed that line.
time run low. of this a pinch of that no it wasn't 36 damage dude Wait, did they play? Okay, I know what it is. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, I can't I can't attack twice with everything, so. Um if I go scale one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's the play then, right? Uh, if I squeeze in a hero power, I don't die to the four drop, right? Counter spell just auto wins here. Wait, oh wait. Am I just dead? I'm just dead, dead. Pretty sure. Let's see. I guess I could go triple trade into this. No. I have to go trade, trade, trade. And then they're and they have to they have to miss the last one and I have to they have to be uh they're one off here, okay. Still in the game. They're one off lethal here. Um I can go sire next turn and uh So he's looking for Magister for the lethal. Or four drop. Like there's so many lethals here, right? Yeah, I, I missed that starfish play. That was a huge mistake, actually, because I could have gone face with the starfish, and then I could have gone BGBM actually, um, and I could have double traded eight eight uh, and pushed a ton of damage. It was actually a great play that I missed out on. So, yeah, so that that get play, I, I bet there's a very good chance we won that game if I had done the right play there. We take less damage. We have more stuff. Shattering. You got a 
be scrappy with scraps. Is it wild growth? I could have gone brand there. Actually, might have been the right play, interestingly enough. Because this would have uh, doubled the effect and it kind of would have forced out plays, right? I don't know, that might have been dumb. I think it's a pretty good death born. I wanted to go Miracle Growth into Earthen Scales though, so... You definitely go death born if you have it here, right? Yeah. My past cannot change me forever. Mm. Awkward hand here. You wish to match wits with me. Makes sense.
do I do here? This is awkward. This needs to die. Reflect in the moon. Curious. Stand the time run low. From your ashes, From your ashes, I can't take him. Bad order. I have an idea. I have an idea. Me task won't stop shattering. They decide they want to ping my brand or not. Dude, what happened to my chat? Did I keep looking? What the hell happened to my chat? board space. <clears throat> so is there anything find Copsy? Reasonable. Um, I... Other people have probably already done that experiment. I'm guessing it failed, but I don't really know. I know they have counter spell. I think that's lethal if they don't have BGBM, right? <clears throat> and if they don't have wait, um oh explosive runes is a thing. I can play around explosive, right? See if it's ice barrier. I think that's lethal, right? Okay, they do this. This is fine. So I go silence, so it's 1428. Uh, I didn't do the math here. <laughs> math is hard chat. Oh God. Okay. 
Am I just off? 36? No, I have to do a ping, we're fine. Here we got him, lethal. Exact. Alright, math is hard, chat. Why do you think Zola isn't used in modern ramp lists? Ramp has no problem outvaluing their opponents for the most part. Zola is a greed card. Ramp is already greedy enough. You do a bunch of Zolas and your opponent just goes sire and kills you. Why don't they make a 2v2? I know, right? Oh, here we go. Go, Guff Gamer. This hand of. Yeah, so this is like running lots of silences. Um, it's not running as many of the other stuff, uh, and you're kind of don't really need Sire to win. Ooh, I can just go alignment. Alignment's actually insane with this hand, right? Dravo, thanks for the 14 months. Get on, stop trying. Thanks so much, Dravo. Ooh, okay. So I could go fast guff here. So I go coin, innervate, guff. That'll be at four. And the next one will be about five. I hear power go to six. So I don't I don't get to go alignment on curve with that play, right? Where if I go I think I want to I think alignment's the right line here. So I can go coin uh nourish next turn. Let's see if I can high roll something here. I did not. Okay, we'll just take her then then. So share power. So I can go coin nourish hero power into innervate alignment. Um and then we from there we pop off. Let's see what side of the bed I walk up on. Do I want I'll take something from here? Ooh, do I want I feel like I want um insatiable is good. Cause it's gonna go down to one. Bloom's good because I can, after I go alignment, I can ramp and it draws. It might be Bloom Seedsman. Right. They don't have that much good stuff to eat, anyways. Wow, they're running an old-fashioned ooze. Wait, that's surprising. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, three is a good spot. Two sometimes. Um, so you want to be thinking like, so I've realized sometimes it's okay on two, especially with coin, because if you if you hit Wid Widow Blue, you take it to coin it out. Like that's why I did it on two this turn, because um, I don't want to do it on three and then hit Widow Bloom, um, because I'd rather just coin the Widow Bloom. I 
Light cannot exist. Wonder if I was supposed to play giant to force out the eight mana spell. It looks like no, absolutely not. Order was wrong with my order. Would you like seeing you nerfed and buffed? I don't know, dude. I want to just take myself out of the nerf buff equation these days. Like, they've they've already done so much what I want to do that I I can't really like. I would have done so little of what they did that I can't really give a good analysis. You know. Oh, would your sire? That's, that's good. GG, I mean, they're still, they're doing fine. They just removed this board. Yeah. Um, I don't have much card draw here, so it's kind of annoying here. I do have Sire, so if I draw Brand, but I'm not hitting card draw, which is bad. I need to hit, like, Moonlit Guidance or... Um... This is awkward because I'd like to go like scale here and Ivis, but I can't really do much here, right? I think I just go scale because I can. Oh my god, they play suck. Ivis sucks here. This at least uh, makes my uh, sire a little bit better. The sire's not gonna is unlikely to get eaten, even if they go. Uh, I have lots of things to to block the sire. The Munanus, see. Good top deck. That lethal? Let's go, dude. The easy lethals, chat. Oh, 
Got him. No theotar necessary, chat. I don't know why I'm slow on, on reading chat today. So lackey. <laughs> Dah. Uh, chat, I, every time I'm feeling bad about Hearthstone, I play some Ram Druid. I just feel so satisfied. It's like... Wait, did somebody call it over? Wait, who called it? Who said it was over? No, they said GG in my favor, I think. Put Celestial on list? Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't think we really needed alignment to win that game, but... I mean, Legends of the No Hand stream, chat. <laughs> Legends of the No Hand stream. All right. You people! Yeah, so the the context... No, it was before the Whirlpool they said it, and I said they are going to Whirlpool us, and then they did, but... Is Zanaris the only win condition? No. You can just play Giants and go BGBM. Tempo, okay. Tempo is your default win condition in about, uh, in almost all decks, uh, except for things like Boar Priest. Even in control decks, uh, like if you're playing Shaman, Old Shaman, Tempo is your default win condition. What is Tempo? I spend my mana, I put threats on, I put pressure on my opponent to on the, their life total, and I kill them before they can stop me. That's tempo. What is value? Value is more like we're trading thing for thing and uh, I get more efficient trades and uh, because I get efficient trades, uh, I end up killing my opponent, so. Oh, announcement. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, more, we'll be more nerf focused, yeah. So, uh, might be my, my last time, uh, my last time, uh, playing, uh, by the way, thank you, Ticket. So, um, Twitter isn't down for me. It's me, uh, not much time left with, with me and Ramp Druid. Yeah, I don't know. It worked for me. I just clicked on the link J. Alexander sent. Elite versus Sylvanas. I will never serve. Class is in session. The <laughs> world can heal. <laughs> oh, God. Did it just die in the last five seconds? Dude, it's working fine for me. What countries do you guys live? Maybe your country decided to, to cancel Twitter. This is what Moss is doing. Italy. Antarctica. Oh, dude, the Antarctica government has not liked the, the shit talking on their government on Twitter, so they've been looking... Go get my What is it? Okay, I'll show you guys. What did J. Alexander send me? Or did he send me? Son of a gun. Okay, here we go. There we go. So. Uh, I think coins is coin too valuable here. If I go coin hero power and then I go pass. Or I can go. Uh, I think it's not too valuable actually. Um, when is soon? I don't know. Probably for next Tuesday. That's my guess. Yeah, so one, uh, so. It's a nice top deck chat.
Quinn here is probably so painful. I think it's pretty reasonable here, though. Um, oh, they're protecting that. Uh, it might be uh, rampant next turn, because then I can hero power down this fox seed. Seems quite clear. Yeah, it's going to be a while. So, every game, Guffin starting hand. It's, it is. I was uh, less skillful earlier, and I didn't draw uh, Guff, but uh, the skill is coming back to me, chat. Our hand's pretty insane, right? Delete Sire from the game. You know what's interesting? Like, this doesn't even affect us. Like, they steal my ramp, no big deal. Uh, raid boss is actually the hardest card for us to steal, right? Because um, we go, we can go Jerry Rig, hit ramp, play it, hero power, all set up for raid boss. Um, what did they steal from me? Still an Oracle. Ooh, that's actually useful for them, right? With scraps. Mm, that was a big mistake for the game. I guess I can't play anymore for freeze until Friday. Wait, I don't understand. Why fuck? Oh, you gotta. Oh, you wanna. Uh... Dude, you don't know, like. That's one of the like things I hate about like the nerf world. Is like as in like someone who has influence. Like, I remember when Galakrond Warlock came, I invented it, all right? This pissed me off so much. They said they're going to do nerfs to, like, Rogue, the, the, this, and Warlock wasn't on the radar. I started playing, I invented Galakrond Warlock, and they nerfed Galakrond Warlock that week. So if I had just came out with Galakrond Warlock a week later, it wouldn't have gotten nerfed. This is bullshit. I demand justice, chat. But seriously, though. I like to play, so. Big spell is more fun or strong? Uh, I'd say big spell, but ramp druid, they're both. There's the four horsemen of the meta chat. There's the druid, which has ramp druid, the four, uh, and aggro druid, which are both top tier decks. Uh, there's mage, which has big spell and spooky. There is rogue, which has miracle rogue. And there is a uh, priest, which has quest priest and naga priest. They are both really good decks, even though nobody plays naga priest and barely anyone plays quest priest. And it actually has boar priest as well if you're pocket trained. So those are the four horsemen. Um, Hunter is actually okay too. Uh, it's just not great. Like it's just not one of the four horsemen. It could definitely like see play. Uh, like you could get top 100 legend no problem with with Hunter. Um, might be hard to get number one. Um, so yeah. Uh, Warriors unplayable. Paladins unplayable. Um, yeah.
one is highest fifteen thousand legend. Uh, so <laughs> wait, what? Oh, I'm fine, Chad. I have a um, sexual devourer here, right? This must be the way. Oh wait, this goes into it, that's insane actually. There's not good enough. No. So, um, Paladin has decent proactive tools. Decent uh, control tools, but like really bad value trading cards. So Paladin kind of gets value traded relentlessly. Um, and it has really bad card draw and value generation. So um, it's just hard to compete in the Hearthstone 2022. Um, because well, it, it, it's proactive tools aren't as good as they were. Like back Paladin and like, yeah, so um, yeah. We're doing well today with this list. I, mean, I I would think if they if so I wonder if they'll move Guff to seven six mana or, or nerf the hero power. Nails. I wonder if what Nails is playing. I'm gonna look for ramp here. Yep, nerfs are coming. Rogue? Rogue, okay. Back in my day, I don't know. I think this is better than um, every every ramp. We can get fast insatiable devour.
If I can get this, these uh, infused, I can like kill their <laughs> giant minions. But yeah. Really use a uh, scale of Anixia here. Three mana, three for. All patched up. So many contradictions. Time has come to throw our former master. Uh, it's a pretty strong play. Like, it's a three mana three four. Just like contest the board. It's like it can, you know, tr do a, like a value hit on this guy. <laughs> you know, it's uh, moving the mouse. I know, right, Outburst? So. Ah, oh, that's, that's really bad for us. It's a nice play, actually. Um, it's a very nice play. What do I do here? How likely am I dead? So likely. I, I can go start for sure and uh, coin. I think yeah, that's the best play. How curious! Lose rush rate. Am I dead here? No way. Dang it, Tron. Nail's too good at this game. <laughs> Dude, is it just me? Oh, we had some Kumbia, yeah. Oh, I love Cumbia. I only discovered Cumbia recently. So. Apparently, back, so back in my day, it was uh, salsa, merengue, and bachata. But apparently, like, Cumbia is really popular nowadays, so. Do you take suggestions? No. Not anymore. Ever, not ever since I got the uh, the copyright strike from uh, Call Me Maybe. Ugh. Did you grow up knowing Spanish? No, I, I took my first Spanish class in fourth grade. My Spanish is still just like good. It, my Spanish is good for an American. All right, justify salsa. Like I, amongst Americans that are uh, that their parents didn't speak Spanish, my. My Spanish is probably in the top 5%. I'm a, now, if you put in Americans that their parents do speak Spanish, I'm not even the top 50, but like, you know what I mean. Electro swing, yeah. I've listened to like all the electro swing stuff. I kind of am worrying, like, feel like swing music is dying. Class is in session. 
so you can understand. Well, I'm actually the opposite. I'm really good at talking, <laughs> but I can't understand because people talk too quickly. And I, I can find ways to communicate things with a minimal amount of words. How long ago was that? Ooh, that'd be fourth grade. No, no, it'd be fifth grade, fifth grade. Fifth grade, I would be like, so that'd be like 23 years ago. Fuck, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that might be okay, Sparkles, but even then. Can I talk to Spant chat? Uh, sometimes I do. I, I, I'm not like... I, I don't know. There's certain things... Like, I don't like people asking me to talk to chat. You just like start saying things and if I'm bored, I'll, I'll speak Spanish back to you, you know? Chad, is it draw three here or is it ramp next turn? It might be draw three. We kind of need value. Their hand's really good, so it's tough. All it takes is love, care, and death. Dude, they do speak so effing fast, Ace. Oh, I hit a moonlight. That's really good. Yeah, they speak so fast. My boy Guff over here with gold, dude. Chat, what is the Guffy boy? Do I ever go brand Guff for even more rampy boys? Makes it harder to sire OTK. It's a negative. But I get two cards, and I get this. so it makes like guff cost three mana essentially. From the smallest seed. Ooh, I don't think I do now. Just ramp real hard here. This must be the way. We are mm. This is fine. Like, I just put a ton of pressure on here and I probably win.
Maybe like Insatiable Devour here. But I can Insatiable right back, so it's not a big deal. Ooh, that's real good. Yeah. I mean, I can devour right back, right? So. Yeah, the devour earthen scale sucks, though. I could use my own earthen scales here. Wait, imagine if we got earthen scales and then we went brand devour and went earthen and we just healed to like a million here. Uh, this is rough. We could steal a lot of good stuff here. Damn it. I gotta hope they don't run starfish. They don't run starfish at one, right? Like, <laughs> what the heck is going on? Like, they can't even get lethal me because this is too much life. Like, that's why I was trying to hit earthen scales. We hit earthen scales. I was able to get. I would have gained a hundred life here. That was the play. So I went brand this because uh, I don't know if you guys saw, I got to draw, draw two uh, nature spells, so there's a really good chance of hitting Earth in there. But... And the cycle of life. Am I gonna die here? No way, dude. Can't kill me. Can't kill the no wings. I don't wanna die, chat. No, no si silence, please. Okay. I might be able to wait. I think they're running. Um... Oh, they got the silence. Damn. You gotta be scrappy with I think that's a win for them. I don't have enough to clear this, right? 
And they have two sires. Ooh, Do Oracle Double Ivis actually might get there. It's actually such a nutty top deck. Reflect in the moon well. We actually might win, chat. It's kind of insane. Now, they have a Sire, but they use Varan. They haven't used Varan, so it's... But I have, I have like a thousand stats on board here, right? But we still have Theo in our deck as well, yeah. If they don't kill these, we have uh, 104 damage, right? Like, it's a lot of damage, right? What are we going for? Kazakasan? What's their play? We go Brand Sire. Is Brand Sire auto win here? Oh, they have an Anixia as well, you jerk. Damn. Alright, this might not be a win. Oh, they are Kazakasan. They gave me this from their Theo, right? So. They can't, these are do cost regular mana, so they're not going to be hyper efficient. Maybe they don't kill my Oracle here. That would be crazy. They don't kill my Oracle. I don't, that's not actually that big a deal. Here comes the Brand Sire, right? So they have two Sires here. Okay. What do I do here? Yeah, what's the line? How do I win this game? Um, I see the line. Uh, how do I win this game? Oh, God. You can't see it. There must be a way. Okay. All right, I think we lost chat. Rough out of your chat. They're playing the evidence out that this game is me the game. Uh, I don't have enough to win here. Nice overheated. I mean, if they hadn't stolen my sire, we probably would have won that game, not gonna lie.
Hey, last champ. Sweet jocks. <laughs> uh. Should I get in Q snipe? I don't know. You're playing rogue, so no. <laughs> you can cue snipe when I play it mage. It's a fair matchup. Slightly in my favor. Here, next song, I'm sick of this song. I know, right, wizard? Cute statement. <sighs> Feel better today, Chad. I, I did. I I I was hung. Like I had like the. Uh, I feel better today, but I was uh, depressed, hungover yesterday. But I was very productive today. I had a coaching session. Got a bunch of bullshit done. It was good. I know, right? I didn't even feel, I didn't feel sick. It was like just the, uh, I don't know. It was like, it was really hard fighting the negativity. I felt real shitty yesterday. Despite having like an amazing night the previous night, you know? That's why, I mean, those like, uh, it's funny, like, I would drink so much if it was, like, if it wasn't for the the, the, the next day, like, but it's it's just like you're so slow the next day. Yeah, well, I just wanted like I got all, so I try to get like everything, everything that's giving me anxiety. I try to resolve. So, like, let's say I'm like I've been procrastinating doing something that I know I need to do, and it might start giving me anxiety. So I do the thing and then I don't, that's one less thing I have to feel anxiety about. You know what I mean? I'm in the process of making it heavy right now. I drink a lot, uh, but it was fun though. That's really what it is for the queen. It is like, which is a good thing sometimes, like, but then you got to put like the, the debt collectors come. They're like, all right, I came. Uh, you, I gave you a bunch of happiness last night. I'm coming to pay the, pay the bill. And you're like, damn it. I thought I was hoping you wouldn't come. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, oh, alcohol is basically the overload mechanic. That's what it is. It's like you have a lot more this turn, but like think about it if you hit guardian animals this turn and just win the game You might as well be overloaded, you know Do I ever tempo brand here and hope they have no play? Tempo brand blocks them going the five drop here I also, uh, now that I hit Duke, I have an alternative win condition, right? 
Okay, we'll just hero power pass here. This is boring, but I could go Topier here. Yeah, right, let's see. Oh, I could have blocked this. I could have gone Brand the Starfish here. And they wouldn't be able to do this, which is interesting. Ooh, we'll go Topier still here. We'll go up next turn. I could go Brand Guff. It's not actually that bad, right? I get double the the guff effect. Draw two cards. Set my mana to crucial chat. If you do Brad Guff, I think it should set your mana to thirty. Oh, that's true. That's how it should work, eh? Um, because the armor is not uh, a battle cry. It's not battle cry gain five armor. Armor is just on the something that happens. I'd rather have Ram. So they'd never have an answer for my four seven here, right? Any cards you replace Topi or? Um, no, but. So, <laughs> my most regular student cut Topi or from his Druid list, and I had to explain to him that Topi or is the, the strongest card in Druid other than Guff. Like, it's so good. So, it's rough. Um, but. Sensei, no hands. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get draw here. This is good. Oh, innervate would be so nice here. Oh, uh, this is like so awkward. We're like so close to greatness here. Be with scraps. The time has come. This says Cornelius. What was this sets to Cornelius chat? What was the Cornelius of this expansion? Tell me, chat. I can't. Uh, tell me, Legends of the No Hand Stream.
How does the hunter win from here? I'm not sure. Uh, I hate the why is he from here still here stuff. Zero did. It's like people find ridiculous outs all the time. Uh, why are they still here? Because German Sheep is a good player who doesn't give up at the first sign of trouble. All right. Alright, so they have all the secrets, right? That's annoying. I mean, it's okay to. Um, like, it's just, it's a thing of, I mean, you're allowed to legally. That's what you mean. It's the other card draw here. <laughs> no help for you, but that rope's burning again. Top three, Sire, Sire, Sire. Okay, Sire, Topior, and uh, um, uh, Sire, Topior, Theotar, easy. All right. Right, we know it's freezing trap, right? Or it's um Kelzazad I don't think is uh their mage list don't even run Kelzazad. Uh I think Kelzazad's okay, not top three. Yeah, get this concede nonsense out of my channel. All right. All right.
right? You can do whatever you want, right? Um, unless you're in a country where they imprison you for conceding, which is how I would run my country if I were a supreme dictator. Um, I would, we would, we would basically what I would do is I'd review people's games randomly, and if I found that they had any out to win, they would go to prison. Uh, but unfortunately, fortunately for chat, I am not a supreme dictator because it would be a very bad world. Um, so yeah. Let's see this now. You know who, you know who also told, uh, the, the, the concede, uh, I was going to say uh, Xerxes from 300. And Leonidas kept fighting to the death. Played to his outs, all right? Despite, like, overwhelming odds, you know? <laughs> oh, sort of wicked. Why are you uh, so against conceding? Because you don't know it's over, right? Um, this is in real life. So this is a very emotionally tied thing because uh, of my chronic pain. I met people who also had chronic pain, who had effectively given up. They, uh, I met somebody um, who had just said, I can't beat this. Uh, and they just would, they were on some sort of medication and they would just do nothing. And uh, they're on like, and they, you know, they kind of give it up on their life. I think it's very sad. Um, and it's a thing of, I get it. I get it. I know what chronic pain does to you. It's miserable. I was close to giving up. Like, just like not. And I hung in there and I found out. I found out I didn't know about. So when I see people giving up in a Hearthstone, it's that mindset and, and things that are valuable in your life will often come at a struggle. So if you're giving up in a Hearthstone game, you're probably giving up in lots of other places where you had outs, all right? You know? So that's kind of the way I view the world. And I, I don't like encouraging that behavior uh, in my chat, so. Innervate is really good, but Sire is, I think, better. <laughs> With scraps. <laughs> hey, that's it out, dude. You know? You gotta be scrappy with scraps. I do. <laughs> but I do. I wonder if I, I might go double ramp into Topior, like Brand Topior. That might be the better play here. So, and here's the thing. I know this because I've had so many people give up. Uh, if you just hang in there and try stuff, you might find out that you didn't know were a thing. Uh, I'm going to play around Theotar. I actually think ramping is better here, efficient-wise, but uh, I go Guff here because Theotar just is too sage.
Oh, I'm going for the Innervate Hyrule, yep. All it takes is love, care, and death. I have two sires, chat. It's kind of fun. Slips
can stand against the serpent lord. I feel like they don't run Theotar in their list, and I say that and this happens. No excuse for bad manners. They're thinking, how do you think if you picked one of these two, right? Like Oh wow, they low rolled that hard. They stole my Theotar. Oh, never mind. They board lock themselves here. Problem is, I, I, this Theotar is so likely to hit my good guy. Two Theotars in him. Uh, I have to remove their board, dude. So. Um, my best chance is getting lucky. So the. So well, here's what's hard about these spots. These are very complex spots with so many different values and you guys will zoom in on one value. Um, my opponent has 40 attack on board, you know? Like I have to remove their board, but looks like they're just gonna brand kill me here. Yeah, so see, Theotar is really relevant there because I need to somehow, so yeah. It's rough. So. Class is in session. Nails is playing rogue, and I know that. But I still think I keep Topior. Well, this hand's terrible. Small nature version, yes. Giants are, and Bale's Bale are good for crushing uh, freeze effects. Sounds 
say say hi if you see this. Talking to me, pocket. Oh hey, oh it's pocket aces. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been going out in Chicago a lot. Maybe I'll run into you. Wait, what? Aloof Neladar. The blade be thirsty. I have no answer for this. It's kind of going to wreck me, I'm not going to lie. Uh, my hand's so bad here. All right, let's see if I can get like a nourish here. Nourish and rush on the game. The sea floor be the sea floor be its own treasure. No, it kind of wrecks me here. How do I not die here? I'm kind of getting wrecked. Does Brand duplicate this? I don't think it does. The sea floor be its own treasure. The sea floor be its own treasure. Mm, no ramp aggro. It's rough. Mortals, so full of sin. There must be a lot of druid on ladder, and he's probably just farming, but he can... Interesting last champ. Uh, more alignment druids. Okay, like, should I be playing druid right now? Uh, but I wanted to stream druid, so the 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 uh, local meta seems like it would incentivize. What would it incentivize? Like, so we've been playing lots of alignment druid, and I feel like going back to mage might be the right play, but we're probably fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, hello there. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. This is the thin my deck.
they're really bad choices at the moment. I don't think Ivis is very good. The seed floor be the seed floor be its own treasure. I think, do I take their alignment here and let them Theotar me back? It's actually kind of good, right? Like, I steal their alignment, I become the alignment. Take Theo, okay, I think I take Theo. I ruined the disruption, right? Give him an innervate here. Oh yeah, I can steal I can steal one mana stuff. That's so true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Do I take their brand or I take my? No, nah, yeah, I think uh, I'll let them do the wild growth. I think brand's better. Give them a three mana wild growth here. The seed floor be its own. The seed floor. Let's see if they have another answer here. Okay. Hmm. We got Guff. We got something like Power of the Wild to be nice. Use this next turn. I could take Frost Wolf, but I think I'm better off. Let's see if they have a good answer here. Brand Guff's pretty good, actually. Because you brand brand might not die. Like I, I I took all their good like their hands is a bunch of garbage. Like I took all their good shit, you know? So they've got a three mana wild growth. They've got a, a two mana earthen scales. I have to dump a card before I go guff if they if they do a nothing play here. Uh, they got they had Anaconda in their hand here and I didn't hit it. This is bad, man. Wait, who do we go two? They play a two mana wild growth there. It's so bad. Um, oh wow, this is such a desperation play, right? Okay. It's their last card here. Is this them conceding? Feels like this is them conceding. So if I could just, do I eat stuff or... Hmm. I can trade everything in. Wait, but I have to trade so much in. I think I just leave the Anaconda up. So I can go trade, trade. Hmm. Actually, I could just trade on the Anaconda. That's the play, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, this is satisfying.
Chat, this game is brought to you by Theotar. Ooh, not the Nourish Chat. It's like the only good top deck that actually they had anything was draw was a good top deck, but let's see if they can manage to eat my stuff here. Dude, the, dude, the. Chat, I love when Brand doesn't die and you just have permanent, like, battle cry doubles. It's great. Oh, no, dude. They have one mana left, though, right? So. See if they get the another. I I have a. Oh wait, they don't. They can go insatiable devour here. Oh, they hit guff. No. All right. All right. Nothing. Nothing here. Nothing here. No, dang. Mm. They've already used their sire, so they don't have like... They don't have a good win condition, to be honest. So I'm probably still... Probably still winning, but... Maybe not, I don't know. I wanna gain 20, 31 life here. Okay, that's good. Right now that I have Sire, I probably win, right? I could also hit BGBM there for lethal, but I didn't. How do they win here? Wait, what is it? Is their hand garbage here? What the heck are they doing? Oh, they're going Malgos, that makes sense. Games are going well. All right, I mean, they have, I kind of want to draw um, Smothering because they're going to probably eat this and then I eat it back, but like, uh, the Earth and Scales plays are rough. But like, they don't have the win condition here, right? So it's like, they don't have a Sire. Um, they can win with Kazakasan, but that's annoying, so... This must be the way. Yeah. Arby's, thank you for 11 months. Get on that thing, Mr. Arby's. That, that, dude, that, that, that overdraw is huge for us because we don't have a, a good response right now. So now we're just like winning with Sire, probably. With all this armor, it's going to be hard for them to kill us with Kazakasan. Their, their treasures aren't as efficient. They can go alignment number two, but like that's not that good. So, so I just get this like really juiced up. And, um,. Yeah, the double, uh, the, the, all the Tolverones are really annoying here, but... Oh, <laughs> sorry, Harvey. Oh! Ah, oh, dude, is Paradox actually gonna scam me here? Like, he got Nourish into Scale into Draw. Oh, God. I don't know if I have enough, but I have like a thousand life here, so.
And the cycle of life is reborn anew. The time has come to dethrone our former master. <laughs> Rep Reptalics is with the Prime Gaming. Get that subtrain. Thanks so much, Reptalics. The starfish here. You're not a monster. The ramp doesn't do anything, I'm aware, chat. Not sure if we're dead to embers here. I didn't the math was tough. So we have 70 damage here. Um they have 63 life. 63 life, 66 life. Uh This is so tough because like I'm so close to winning. Uh, there are two cards. It might be it might be the brand uh, sire here, because it's tough to win if we don't brand sire, right? Because we're just gonna die. If I go Ivis, like it's so likely they have the. Um, This must be the way. Yeah. Who knows what seek? <laughs> <laughs> 
So they're in fatigue here, so we might be able to, might be able to win. You just have to like survive a few turns here, basically, right? Like. How many more threats do they have? Well, that's. I get to silence both of these dudes, right? Like. What are the what treasures? They have a gnomish army knife, right? Gnomish. They have. They have two wax ragers. They do two scales. They had. Um, they had uh, two wax ragers, two scales. Oh, the beastly beauty. Um. I have a starfish. I do. I do think I have a starfish does win, but I'm not. You have another Swiss Army knife. I think I actually do BGBM here before the um so i can double trade here we'll see strike then strike harder from your passion so i have another gnomish right they have a staff. Um, I think I'm gonna play this. Hey, where'd my deck go? See if I win here. So they have to do the no mesh to kill my fifteen ten, right? Oh wait, was I not supposed to do this? I forgot it gives it Wind Fury. That might have been stupid of me. Wait, they're out of stuff though, so it's like. Wait, what's it? They have like some random ass spell here? I think I win, right? We know what druid spell it is here. It's a composting, right? I think. The time has come. I don't know. I'm just gonna pass here. I'm worried. Though. I don't know what it is. I think I have one here. That was a really good game. That was a crazy game. It's because uh, we stole their Theotar so we could comfortably friend request. The Paradox is a well known player. You can come into chat, all right? <laughs> Yeah, is he, is he, dude, you tilting? Dude, it is, is he. You're mad, bro? <laughs> it's over 9,000! What 9,000?
versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. Class is in session. Own treasure. The seed floor, the seed floor, be its own treasure. The seed floor, be it the seed floor, be its own treasure. Ran Ivis does work. You would get double the bud buffs, but it's not doesn't work like Oracle. Uh, are you dumb? Uh, no, uh, you're not dumb for it. But uh, here's the thing, Ivis. I have nothing in my hand at least, so I can steal my aquatic form, dude. This is awkward. What a weird spot. Like, we're at five mana. Like, we hit an like, a, a unplayable hand here. <laughs> oh, wait, this is a four five? Wait, why is my hand a four? Someone explain why my Renthal. Wait, how did this. Oh, they gave me this. Oh, I see. I thought about what I wanted to do here. Yeah, but I mean, we're just one good top deck from being like Guff, Nourish, uh, Expired Merchant, or Miracle Growth are all like we're right back in this game. Next term, I believe October. So like we have a bad hand, but they had a kind of awkward hand too. So it's not that bad. Like. We're we're bad right now until we get a good top deck, so if we get bad top decks every game we're gonna lose this game. But Oh, I didn't know that, Mr. Dude. Okay. I guess that makes sense. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Later. Chat, this is what I was talking about. Moonlit right back in the game. Well, this is one way to go about it. <laughs> Give me that nourish, baby. No for I'll take the draw three. And you can have my starfish. His reign ends now. Ah, why couldn't I have stolen the guff chat? Ah, wait, did they top deck the guff? Maybe. You, you know what they need? They need... Okay, they need a card that's like Battle Cry, become your opponent's hero. Does that make sense? Because then both players can be guffs. Like, the greatest thing that Guff did wrong was not be in everybody's deck, you know? 
Like the only problem with guff is there's not more guff. Does that make sense? So many contradictions. Delightful insanity. <laughs> I, I don't really want to, I'm not sure if I would want to be on the design team. I'd rather just like give them ideas and then they, 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 they name cards off after me, like, like ETC. Ooh, hit Tolberon here. Last champ, thanks for the gift sub for Meaty. Get all the stuff right, thanks for his last champ. I play the giant here. Wait, um, oh, they have a card on the left. They could easily have Sire, but I have another Theotar, so. But they didn't. Oh no, already. This must be the way. Annoying. Uh, this is gonna be a tough game to win, chat. By tough, I don't think I'm gonna win. It's hard to beat Guff, um, Brand, Brand Tobior. All right, my best chance of winning here is the Theotar, their sire. Um, this card could easily be sire. Oh my god, and I have to deal with all this tempo. Okay, how do I win here? I don't think I do. Alright, chat 2 can play at the next game. Alright. We're at 17 mana, they're at 17 and we're at 10. It's looking pretty grim, but you never know. Uh, Chad, this is one of the spots I'd be angry when someone goes, why hasn't no one's given up yet? I'm like, I have Theotar, anything can happen, all right? We hit a buff on this, this could be good. Like, I don't know. Um, Interface pretty good. Do I take the composting here for a million draw that I can't actually effectively use? Or do I take, uh, I can't even use it. Power of the Wild is seven stats. It's not as good as this. Never power. This is a nature spell, we'll be taking a second.
Uh, my, my, my choices were bad here. You know, if you guys, I definitely did some bad value trades there. But at least this cleared. So we have Sire, we have a Theotar out. We're, um, if they don't OTK us next turn, and if we can defend the board. Um, Falls asleep to no answer. Uh, Okay. So I think I go in rich here. Um, for draw. Uh, I have to avoid lethal, and I also have to then. Uh, so we had like planted evidence. Uh, I did not hit planted evidence. It's very bad. Probably a loss. Like, what do I do? Yeah. I'm go trade, trade, and. Nourish. I don't even have. I don't even wait to not die here, right? I'm dead. It's hard uh, beating double the mana chat. I'm of the philosophy. People have way more time than they think they have. It's energy that is the limiting resource in my point of view. Um, I think people think, oh, I don't have enough time to do stuff, but it's really they don't have enough energy. And if you could figure out ways to do things that in a way that, like, for example, if I'm just chilling, streaming and playing a deck I love, I can keep going for a long time. But if I have to ask, like, if I have to... If like chat's constantly saying what card should you nerf and what's the best deck to get the legend, I start tilting and I start getting exhausted, you know? And uh, and then it, so. It's been, like lately it's been like, so what would you nerf? It's kind of like, you know. Like, what would you nerf in, like, my mind? Because remember, these like these cards are my babies, in a way. Like, maybe not my babies, but I've adopted them. Uh, so imagine if you said, all right, uh, w w like, uh, which, which child of yours do we have to uh, cut off a limb of in order to pay the bills? Like, that, that would be a very hard question for me to answer, you know? But people ask me that question every day. Which child should we cut off the limb of, you know? I don't like it. Best topic we could get. <laughs> I mean, they're not even doing buffs, Alec will say, so they're doing more nerfs. I mean, the buffs are keep failing, so... I hate guff. Do I even want to guff this turn? Or do I want, I mean, they don't run Theotar, so I think I actually go ramp here. Ramp is more efficient of a line. Wait, can't, check. I wonder if I could just armor out of range with a... Um, So. <laughs> that child we had a limp to. Who knows 
Is someone injured? He doesn't hit a, have the zero mana of Naga, he does though, it's unfortunate. Man, he's going really fast here. This is a very efficient game for him. How likely is he to just kill me next turn? So I, I could go Moonlit Guidance and try and hit the Utar here. Um, well, he didn't kill my brand. Okay. This must be the way. Am I dead here already? I wonder if you can always deal with this. He hasn't done illuminate on it, so how does he do it? Like he can hit me in the face here, but then I just kill him, right? He only has one uh one of the one mana spells. Like he's not efficient enough here. I'm almost out of cards. 
Yeah, though, he could have gotten them all here, but that wasn't winning, right? Like, he has to not die. Oh, does he get there? Wait. Almost out of cards. Oh, uh, wait. Um. So he has to hit. I feel like he has to hit my guy here, right? I have nine damage here, right? I have like a lot of life here, right? Might be winnable. That's what I want. The sea floor be it the sea floor be its own Yeah, they play Zarella, but um they have to kill this 8-8 and they have to kill the other 8-8 that's coming. Um I guess they don't have to kill it. Really use a... Um... If I top deck like a uh, innervate here, do I ever win here? Damn, this is close here. Done. I'll miss. Done. My top deck like planted evidence there. Uh, we could get like clears and like taunt. Um, so yeah, if we got like planted evidence there uh, into taunts. We get two three threes. We kill both their minions, and we probably win. Alibi doesn't isn't good enough there. I'm stuck. I stuck playing spell mage. First of all, I don't know what spell mage is, which is a bad sign. Uh, take take a proactive tempo deck. Spend your mana, play minions, spiral, take value trades, spiral on board, kill your opponent. That will get you a legend. That's all you really need to know. A spooky mage. Spooky mage is not an easy deck for beginners because it's a value deck, um, and it provides lots of planning, which people are terrible at. Don't recommend it. Impossible. 
Do I think Druid is OP? No. Is it P? Yes. OP is uh, requires a a system of deciding what is P and what is a just regular. Uh, oh. Ooh. All right. This is pretty good though. I remember when two mana guffs were just the reg of norm. I could go for this is what I wanted. Oh my god, chat. So good at this game. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Well, this is why people hate druids. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah my opponent's about to, like, playing. Wait. Oh, they're actually playing Warlock. Okay. I wonder if I was supposed to go scale there. Probably not. Then I can't play anything the next turn. I don't know, dude. How are you so good? Ah, I dude, that was a close one, Pocket Train. It was very close. You were very efficient. Um, Why waste scale? Um, when they kill me, they're gonna be doing like a thousand damage to me. So my mindset is I want to just keep spending mana and keep developing threats. So I, I don't think I can uh, play around lethal there. So, and I still gain four armor. So it's like, basically uh, I was able to get a three, three this turn and develop for a cost of five armor. Uh, it's very good in my opinion.
our bones to gnaw on. The sea floor be its own treasure. <laughs> so you guys are looking for these like really like value based ways of winning remember the easiest way to win in Hearthstone is put too much pressure is Brand Theo there better actually probably was but I didn't have enough mana to do it. Uh, the easiest way to win in Hearthstone is put pressure on your opponent and force out suboptimal plays because you don't give them enough time to react. Uh, but people, everybody tries to like win a giant value war, which they really shouldn't be. Can I have lethal here? I think if I hit, um, if I already use both planted evidences, I have. If I hit Drew the Reef, maybe I have lethal. No. This must be the way. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, they have to either have lethal or they don't here, right? They might have it. Dang it. It's very close here. Uh, they might still, they might not have it, so it might be good shorting. Like, we have 52. Um, they don't have Tamsin, so it's hard for them to get the, the full combo, right? So they might not have it. They're thinking. That's a good sign. Um, if they clear my board, I have lethal, right? I have five minions on board. Are they thinking about... Uh, they have two of these, right? I don't think that's lethal, right? That's uh, that's eight times four. That's 32. It's not even close, right? Got him! Jet justice prevails. Dies of cringe. <laughs> dude, uh, dude, the internet where people literally die of cringe. They're at the <laughs> Not an emote. Wait, is dies of cringe? Is that an emote? It Have you seen, I have not seen any today, Shade Slayer. Greed is the name. No hands is or something like that. How do I add? All right, I haven't done one of these. All right, let me. 
Can I? I dude, Linko used to be in charge of all this stuff back in the day. All right, let me see. What, what did, I, did I use? FF um, Franker Phase Z. All right, let me connect to Twitch. I have Franker Phase Z, right? Uh, I forget. Like, okay, here we go. My channel. All right, we'll, we'll we'll remove one that we don't need. Do we need kind of sus? I feel like we don't need that one. Remove that. Remove select different channel. Public library. Eyes of cringe. Cringe. Dude, it's not, I'm not even seeing it. Oh, dies. Dies. Dies from cringe? Is it dies from cringe or, uh, or dies? This looks real weird. Okay, we'll go on 7TV. I don't even know how to do 7TV. All right. I felt like sign in. Dies. Oh, I found it. It's a cat. That's pretty funny. All right. Can I add it? More. I want to add it to my channel. I'm trying to wait is it is it wait is it a cat or is it like uh like a weird thing time run low. all right I'm trying to get it okay how do I add it to my channel? Use emote. Okay. All right, I think it's in. All right, see if it works, chat. You might have to refresh, I don't know. Oh, it says no hands to add to dies of cringe. That, that probably is a good thing. Ooh, a wild growth, my baby. Oh, uh, you jerk. Maybe dumping my aquatic form was incorrect there, because I kind of needed the draw. Oh, that's actually might have been really incorrect. 
Because now I don't have draw. Like, Jerry would to give me draw three. I don't know. But I wanted to kill the watch post there. It's like, yeah, I'm on a shit here now. Alright, don't play this this turn. Oh wait, I do play this this turn. I forgot I have 10 mana. All right, they never go Belinda here. They always. Yeah, we're still ahead here. Point a hero card here. Let's see. I bring the muscle and the magic. I feel fortunate to have witnessed this. <laughs> Let's go. Denied. Witness the skill. Ooh, into top deck miracle growth. How do you say skill in Espanol? The sea floor be the sea floor. It's all skill. <laughs> validate, that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah, validate. Mira la habilidad. <laughs> Mira la habilidad. A smidge of this, a pinch of that. Oh, a validad. That makes sense. I I knew that. I took Spanish. <laughs> Yo hablo español. Como te llamas? <laughs> yeah, 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 I could. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm intentionally. I'm, I'm intentionally talking like an idiot chat. Yeah. I can push them down to 11 here with BGBM if I wanted to, but I think I'd rather like hit some good shit. This must be the way. It's close here. Like planted evidence is insane. I can take the planted evidence. They're all really good options actually. You know what I'd love to get? I'd love to get uh, Taunt this and get another Shibaganator. This must be the way. <laughs> that rope's burning again. Capability, okay, okay. Cap capacidad.
Try to. Uh, is it better? Uh, in this meta, I think absolutely. Yeah. Uh, is it better overall in all situations? Who knows? Ooh, that free cell alibi is pretty brutal here. Even that great. Chat, what's a deck that feels you feel you? Chat, what's a deck that is objectively not up? Feels bad. Like if we buffed it to the strongest deck, rune or no balls. It's rough out there. <laughs> what's the deck that ping mage? Okay, so all right, so here's what my design philosophy for Blizzard is. You pull people and you figure out what is the deck that people don't feel bad to lose to. And then you buff the hell out of that deck until it's like 90% of the meta. Then, like, imagine if you didn't, like, feel bad 90% of the time. Like, that would be really, really good. So I don't know, like, that's just an easy design decision. But uh, for some reason, Blizzard hasn't thought of it, you know? Shaman didn't feel bad. Uh, that's not what I heard. I heard Snowfall Guardian Chains were fundamentally toxic and needed to go. So, anyway, I will support it. Yeah, so they figure out what deck, um, you know, like, and then eventually, like, okay. So not only will no one feel bad, but if we get enough of that deck, then there's one class. So then every deck will have a 50% win rate. Balanced meta. It's really not that hard. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's... The, okay, the only reason why the Blizzard hasn't done this is obviously to sell more runestones. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. It's the only real thing that makes sense when you think about it. Uh, Meaty Cell says it's good, so. But was there no Kappa? See, that's the nice thing about being the streamer is you don't like. Uh, I can say things, and get it, and I don't like. There, there is something about like I understand why people don't want to say Kappas, but I can say things uh, that am I capping? Am I not capping? Nobody knows, you know. And this is to go even further beyond. A new Neladar, all patched up. Toba still say over 100 games. So, Toba, thanks for the Prime Gaming. You know, so Trey, thanks so much, Toba. To be honest, I haven't played a single game of Shaman. So, I've, I'm completely basing my thinking Shaman is bad off my own prejudices. Well, Meaty's actually tested it. So, he's, uh, to be honest, if we should listen to anyone, it should be Meaty on that because he's actually played the deck. That being said, Shaman sucks now. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> He's 
Nothing that bad for us to lose here. Miracle Growth's a little annoying. This is such a low tempo play. Like, we're fine here. So, what do they steal from me? Bone and Rich, not a big deal. Oh, this is actually a good card to give us because now I can freeze these two bad boys, right? Ooh, and we drew the Sire. Let's go, dude. Freeze. Freeze in your minions. Wait, so it's an interesting thing on psychologically. So um, I, I've been paying attention to all the PUE drama. And uh, one, one second. I'll give you my philosophy after this. Mm. Composting is insane here. The sea floor be it the sea floor be its own treasure. The sea floor be its own treasure. Strike. That was so good. Um, so uh, the, I think like the, like they have a lot of bugs. I'm not gonna defend that, but like lowering the pot, like they massively nerf PoE. And what's hard is like if you've gotten used to a certain speed of playing the game and a certain like power level, it feels like it's it's kind of like Flowers of Algernon when like he was a genius for a while and then he went back to being. Like having the mental problems, but him knowing what the world was like it made it much worse than before. That's sometimes how I like feel like it's like that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, so there's some bad. So I, it's uh, but yeah, it's a thing of like. It's hard to go back to playing Shaman or Warrior when it feels so much weaker than before, but because you, you feel like entitled to your power level, you know, so, but yeah, PeeWee's got a lot of problems with those, this expansion. All right. Do I do 18 with Sire? Or do I go Magister here? Wait, oh, I can go Guff? Get the two mana bonus here? Wait, do I ever have a lethal here? No, I don't, right? So I can go Guff, get the two mana bonus, and then go uh, Magister. That seems kind of insane. Uh, but it, only if it all goes face there, right? 
So I set my mana crystals. Ooh. I can even throw in a, a coin hero, innervate hero power here, right? You wish to match wits with me. Overdraw the growth, who cares? Like, we have Sire. And we freeze their guys too, which is insane, right? So good at this game, chat. Oh, with those twice? I forgot! Let's go, dude! Oh, and the growth! Oh, I'm so good at this game, chat. Oh my god. Uh, chat, this is like... See, like, Ramp Druid is like... You accept you're gonna lose the aggro, and then you get all the most fun parts of Hearthstone, and none of the boring stuff, like minions or tempo or like aggression <laughs> it's all like late game complicated decisions that's why it's so much fun well so this is also though ramp druid is a tempo deck that's what people don't realize it's just not a minion tempo so if you have like a very um level one level thing what tempo is level one is like minions then level two might be like minions like weapons life total level three is like everything that so card draw can be tempo um ramping is tempo um there's all sorts of like uh, uh yeah so there's there's all sorts of resources and getting more of that uh so yeah so yeah like o old otk demon hunter was a, like a tempo deck where it's a combo tempo, but it was like, how can I get to my thing? So sometimes OTK Demon Hunter played the slow game. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. Tempo. Um, so tempo comes from chess. I have a whole video on it on my YouTube channel. It's a year ago, but it's like one of the best YouTube videos I've ever made, uh, in my opinion. But it's... Uh, it's... Uh, so... Yeah, philosophy of four six works. So yeah, temp. Can I tempo in chess? For example, is I'm gonna play my pieces and go four move checkmate you. Where value is like, all right, if I, if I get a value advantage in Hearthstone, um, it's like I trade a rook, like I trade a knight for a rook. That's a value good value trade. Uh, in Hearthstone, that may be like I trade a three one for a three three. A tempo advantage is like moving your pieces. So that's like developing stuff. In Hearthstone, tempo is much more important than value. Uh, so, but tempo is the defining feature. Um, yeah, so. So yeah, in like World War One, when Germany tries to go and like invade France really fast, um, like they're going for a tempo win. Uh, but then when it becomes trench warfare, then it's like a pre-smear. Uh, where nobody goes anywhere. That's like so. That's a value war, if that makes sense. So. Class is in session. So. I wonder if I'm supposed to keep uh, Theotar in the mirror. Let me look. I. Uh, nah. War analogies, I mean, her so, like, uh, so Cold War, um, Cold, Cold War, okay. Cold War was both players just kept ramping, <laughs> and, uh, and then, uh, and they, and they, they, both players somehow had a way to play, uh, eye for an eye every, every turn, <laughs> so neither player could kill each other. <laughs> That's basically it was like a, a new mechanic they asked is where you could keep and somebody made like a turtle mage deck where they keep playing eye for an eye. So
Uh, you always take Cuff, yeah. You 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 would you would take Cuff um, in a very uh, in this matchup uh, against Aggro. You would you would not take Cuff. Um, So why am I going this guy? Um, I like having the flexibility of being able to nourish for both. I'm I'm already pretty close to max mana, so I think this is a little bit better, basically. What I think of Queen Ashara is that Queen Ashara is like marginal in every deck she's played. So you, if you love her, if she's your queen, you can put her in, and your win rate will probably not change. Wait, they're not a uh, Celestial Alignment if they're running Ivis. Wait, did it not hit Rush? Wow, Chad, it didn't hit Rush. Wait, how much damage does... This must be the way. <laughs> I just know like the 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 McQueen stuff happened from Game of Thrones because John's I was never a Jon Snow fan. Even before, like, people, like, like, what what was, like, Jon Snow was supposed to be, like, I think the everyman of uh, Game of Thrones, but I didn't buy it. Scrappy with scraps. Dave Davos was a good one. I don't know. It's like, yeah, he knows nothing. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know. I yeah, I was not a John, but like, I feel all my female friends loved him, so. But I think they were, I think they were compromised <laughs> by, you know? Reflect in the moon. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it.
Man, I could really use some Guffy Boy. Where's my Guff? My, <laughs> my Guff is my queen. Uh, I mean. So who has the tempo advantage here? Uh, it is, there is, an, this is what, uh, if you guys ever watch Chess Network, uh, there's always like, I don't know if you ever watch, I used to watch his channel a lot, he'd always go, there is an imbalance. You can see I have minions uh, and life, and they have 18 mana. Uh, so, while it seems like I have the tempo advantage, I don't think that tempo we had it the tempo advantage. We had the minion tempo advantage, but you see how easy that was nullified. And why were they able to nullify this so easily? Because they had the mana advantage. Um, so, does that make sense? So, I uh, So you can convert other forms of tempo. So, for example, Rogue converts um, their life total, which is also a value trade, uh, into board tempo. So you can you can convert certain forms of tempo into other forms of tempo and stuff. Wait, ah! I need one more infuse for this bad boy. There we go, my guff. Guffy boy, let's go. Ooh, Tolperon. My dead son of a gun chat. Drove out there. I mean, I, I know, uh, I swear chat like always wants to rationalize the result of the game in the way that makes them feel like they have the least amount of agency possible. Oh, thank you, the real big Chuck. Welcome to, welcome to the Twitch world. <laughs> uh, you, or I guess you're not even welcome. You have, you have uh, prime gaming, so you're on top of your stuff. But yeah, welcome. Yeah. Chad, I'm getting crushed in the mirrors tonight. It's been rough out there. Ooh, we got Tolber on this game though. Alright, Tolberon always wins these, right? So <laughs> did rise with the location. Dude, the location for Druid is so pointless. It's 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 kind of almost insulting. Like why what is the location for Druid supposed to do? You know what I mean? 
And like, here's the thing, like cheating out like big minions is just not what it used to be because it's so like, there's so many effect, like Rogue can cheat out like a bazillion stats, you know? So. Alright, um... Dude, <laughs> this is a pretty strong play, though. Like, I don't know, like... I I usually don't keep this, but I'm starting to think I should. It's just, like... This is so tough for them. Like, it's a 3-4. It's just kind of in their face saying, like, deal with me. You know what I mean? Like, that just seems really strong. Be scrappy with scraps. The sea floor, the sea floor be its own treasure. Oh, thanks. Tolbaron, let's go. <laughs> well, we have the other. This is like a baby guff, basically. It's told we're on. Oh, that's really unlucky for them. They lost their their Prince Renthal there. That's such a, such a good play. <laughs> oh, they got the guff chat. Feels bad, man. Rough out there. But man, was Monsanto and Ooh, that's wait. Why did they do this? Everyone makes mistakes. This is a teaching moment. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. I think I overdraw here. Hold any more cards. There should no, 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 no. There should maybe. You have like a single that shows that you have guff in hand and then you wait for both players to have it and then you both play it. What about that pervy? That was pretty painful. I mean... Uh... Give me guff, baby. How many guffs do I have to find here, chat? All right, we got him. Can't use it until next turn, though. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, am I getting alignmented here? Uh, wait, no. Oh, this is a desperation play. Why? That's interesting. I did not expect this. Um... Good top deck. All right, right back in this. We're, no, we're only uh, three mana behind now. We have, um, and we have Topior, so. Um. I want to give a miracle growth just because it's like kind of obnoxious to play it's like they have a already an awkwardly big hand this seems more useful you know oh no no they always miss. They always miss, chat. They lost their brand here, so that's good, right? Okay, they bricked. They bricked number one. They bricked number one. Are we good at this game? Are we good at the chat? Theotar is fine unless they were to steal both, and then it would be OP. Uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's just going to be equal. Oh, they stole my my good one, though, but... It's a 17er, and uh, they have to play it now if they want it to work, right? Because, like, with the brand. Um, and then I just kind of have to clear the board, and I probably win, right? It's probably the right way. Well, they didn't go for it. Do you ever... Do you, I feel like you go Sire there. But maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Do I win here? Um, I don't know. Ooh, that's a nice play. Um, I can, wait, do I, I probably silence here, right? Like, wait, do I have lethal here, chat? I might have lethal. I might have lethal because of Sire, right? The math is too hard. So we'll start up. Lord, be the sea, be its own breath. 
full of insanity. A toast. To all who sought to kill me. I am the champion. First we'll go they went up first, right? See? Ah. is in session. I've been queuing Theotar versus Rogue. Oh, he's actually playing Warrior. It goes there. Time for the finishing touch. You friend. Old Dice is young. Care is dead. So we a lose? Like we're we're way ahead here. I mean, they're going for the aggressive win, so, but we have guff, we have, we have everything, like. Ideally, we hit, like, a scale. I mean, we had a very good start here. Like, everything has gone right for us. Um, so, I can go innervate uh, ramp miracle growth next turn. I could have gone jury rig here, which was reasonable, but I didn't. Um, Jerry, we're gonna make this bigger, but I lose two mile gross. Let the pain speak to me. If you have the word auto lose in your vocabulary, uh, you're probably not a top 1000 legend player because there are no auto lose matchups in, in Hearthstone. Even Qu uh, Odd Warrior could beat Quest Rogue like 8% of the time, it's not an auto loss. Uh, it's a big difference. But I could still lose this. Okay, we hit scale. That's really good. Um, oh, we hit Anixia. Anixia is really good. I think I better go scale into double giant and, um, uh, earthen. That seems like the best play here. 
they'd be thirsty. Efficient ways to gain ranks. So, uh, maybe on the climbed legend. So, here's the thing, Bear. Uh, if you are in an equilibrium, so let's say we have our true rank um, and our current rank. So let's say you're uh, you're a rank forty legend player. That's kind of what you actually deserve. And you're rank three hundred. Maybe you're right. But let's say you're rank forty two or your rank 40, uh, if you concede, you're lowering your win rate overall. Because, so, uh, I see what you're saying, but that implies that you're going to climb, where some players are just not even going to climb at all. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it really uh, makes you kind of like get more creative as a player by uh, of like, I know like the weird shit I would try as like Odd Warrior to be Quest Rogue back in the day. But yeah. I can't believe me. Ooh, he trades. Feels bad, man. For him, not for us, obviously. Got the sword. That's fun. I mean, a uh, scales to eight is is probably deleting the class because you, you're just gonna or makes it auto lose to aggro. So that's not true. It's not gonna leave the class. Scales nerfing cards like scales um, makes the, the deck more rock paper scissory. Why? It's still gonna do okay in very greedy matchups, but when scale is at eight mana, uh, a lot of times you you have to ramp, hit multiple ramps, and hit scales on curve in order to beat aggro. So you just lose to aggro. So what happens is aggro is not very good because there's nobody's playing druid, so less people play aggro, and then you get really really like polarizing uh, decks. So I think that's something we're trying to move away like i'd like i hope that making uh, 
when when decks are a little less polarizing, I think that's good. When the both when both uh, classes, even if there's a favorite. Yeah. I wonder if, uh, if nerfing the guff hero power invalidates the deck. It could just make it too inefficient, right? I don't usually keep aquatic form unless I already have a good card and then I do keep aquatic form. Oh, actual, uh... <sighs> Oh, I forgot. That was silly of me. <laughs> no, I don't know if you're being serious. The prince is. If I, I I make the jokes, but prince is a, a card. Uh, a three mana three four just doesn't make the cut in Hearthstone in 2022. That's the harsh reality. That's the stuff that they they won't tell you in school. That's actually very good, right? You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Scales was a perfect draw, wasn't it? I already have scales in hand here. So, I mean, from. Uh, but uh, we, we have nothing to do next turn because we're a turn early on Nourish, so. Yeah. So. I gotta think how big is this? Um, 3 3, 5. It should be 7 7 rush, right? It's a 7 7, right? Four mana for the one one. And then five, six, seven. Wait, no, no, it's a five, five. Crap, I only have six mana. He legit might be Naga Giant here over Guff because that's like a big tempo swing for next turn, right? We'll have played. Um, We've played the one mana spell. We've played a, a ramp, right? Hmm. We played two ramps, so that's ten. So, yeah, I think it's Naga Giant here. So we do this because we need the tempo. Such a good turn. Chad, if I ever have like children, my children are going to be like. Can we nerf Theotar? And I'll be like, every time you ask me to nerf Theotar, I'm actually going to buff Theotar. That's how I'm going to approach my uh, raising children. Until they, uh, until those little dorps learn. <laughs> Theotar to three mana, and he discovers two. <laughs> Haven't heard of me. You will.
Man, how do they stop me here? Oh, they have the double three mana card. Ah, so close to winning. All right, we just have to draw earthen scales and we probably win here, right? Oh, that's so bad. So good. I lied, Chad. It's so good. Do Oh, Chad, do I trade into Tams in here? I don't think I do, actually. Do I? It's so close, actually. I do. So many contradictions. Ivis doesn't usually clear it. Oh, we have Wind Fury next turn. You're right. I uh, it is it is trade then. Yeah, it's trade. It's it's absolutely trade here then. Sands of time run low. Too safe. Jacob, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Good games tonight. Uh, yep, yep, from Wild Growth. Doesn't work with nourish or um yeah. or, oh sorry later last champ. Well, Chad, I haven't checked my YouTube video today. Let me check to see if, uh... <laughs> it's the last time. I see you I think I go aquatic form on two here because then we can hit wild growth or um, the four drop. And we could always hit like Jerry Rick Carpenter and that'd be good enough. I could just go Moonlit Guidance here as well. I don't know. This is phenomenal.
So I have to decide though, because if I if I go ramp next turn, the problem is I have no play on turn the following turn. So I could save the innervate. It's a tough one. Oh, I just got lucky here. Nice. Chad, don't you hate when the streamer is gonna have a tough decision? Steve, you want that for next game, or do you want to start me to start over explaining right now? Want to play when you're poor? Uh, go play the aggro druid list uh, on my YouTube little Silver and Vicious Syndicate. Uh, is is, is uh, you can completely. It's probably if you have the cards, it probably is like cost marginally like five dollars. Okay, next game sounds good, Steve. Be scrappy with scraps. The time has come to our former master. I could use these, but I want my hand bigger for the miracle growth here. It's not worth it. Uh, the three three gets value traded by this, um, and our, our, our miracle growth is worse. So I think we're better off waiting for a turn. Also, we could get uh, stuff for infusions. So it's another reason we want to save it. Deal with it. See if they can stop this. None can stand against the perfect lords. From the smallest Only use four man, two mana so far. Rough out there. Uh, how do I win this game? I don't think I do. Yeah, they have seven mana, but everything costs one in their hand. And I have ten mana here. Uh, they're rough out there. Really? I'm so dead, chat. Like, he stole my aquatic form. All right, we're gonna go to that. Chat, is there an out here? Why are they still playing cards? 
I did draw a guff though, so there's hope. Alright, we're gonna next. Victory is yours. That's a turn. Dude, he's beat he's beating me most games. It's whatever. Overexplained game, thank you for the reminder, Steve. Oh yeah, Rock. Yeah. Um, not enough people playing aggro to punish. I don't really want to play aggro. I mean, that's why Nails is playing Warrior. It's because... I'm going to go to the bathroom while we're queuing. Is in session. Ah, ah, I see you brought Might be incorrect to keep innervate. The sea floor be the he also could be playing rogue here. Man, imagine if we top decked a guff here, how good it would be. My blood boils for war. Ooh, he's aggro. I not expect that. Oh, I forgot on the overexplain. All right, I forgot. Sorry. We can do the next game. Steve, thank you for the five gift subs. Um, I forgot. Gilby fish, thank you for the prime game. <laughs> Get on the such right, thank you for Gilby fish. And this is to go. I'm excited. <laughs> Get on that stuff, Trey. Thank you so much, Steve and Gilby. And this this is, is a really questionable play, but I felt like everything else puts me too behind here. Um, and the drawing is really, really good, good for them, so. Thank you for the fitty bits. Biddies for the train. Fit fit the men or fit the dollars. And if we top deck scale, it'd be real nice. We can go prides here, it's pretty insane. 
When 50 don't work, we go again. How big scale? That's probably a loss, right? I don't know here, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. By top deck scale, we might still be able to win this, right? Maybe not. Everything's at awkward health here. It's actually just a loss, right? How do I stay in this game? Don't even, oh, it's just the top deck starfish, maybe? Right. Ivis doesn't do it right, yeah. Might as well take it. So I have, to, I have to draw starfish here? Oh, maybe, okay, I planted evidence in the I think um, Starfish off of Guff would have been good enough to stay in the game. Yeah, it is weird. No mage. Um, nobody's playing mage. We could switch to mage later. All right, over-explain game. Thank you for reminding me, Steve. I forget too often. And this the broom! Thank you for the gifts of... Get on that sub train. Thank you so much for the boom. Yeah, I think it'd be definitely gonna, like it, it really sit. Yeah, we just we just go guff into starfish, um, and then we do some sort of like uh, big clear the next turn or like nine. So I think it was a, a winnable, but we need we definitely need some good scams. But we got four more minutes to get that high train to the next level. Dude, some say your wildest dreams will come true if you get to that next like hype train. Some say. What do you want? Love, money, power, uh, a guff nerf, all can a guff buff, all can be possible if we get to that next level of the hype train. <laughs> Thank you for the fifteen bits, judo. Look at the bits, 58 pervy. Hey, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, it starts in your hand. That would be crazy. No, okay, 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 okay. So if Guff was one mana, you could run no one mana cards and no innervates, and then run two Capture the Cold Tooth Mines and two Expired Merchants. To, and no other things, so you can always tutor out your one mana guff. 
Already bear thinks there's the six months. Get on this train, thanks so much, Artie Bear. This Q is pretty riveting gameplay, right? Artie Bear, thank you for the 500 bits. Oh, the, 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 the train just got a lot of... It's getting close. It's getting close. Will we make it to level three? It's getting close. We only have two minutes and 20 seconds. Or level four. Or we're already level three, I think. It's close. Tigers think it's with the gifts of um, 84%. Get all this stuff, Trey. I think it's Pygris. It's like one sub away. All right, let's see. Do I keep the. Why right, would I keep it? I guess this is for the, their aggro. It's really good, all right? All right, I'll fix my game. All right, so I'm throwing all these stuff away looking for ramp. Um, I'm keeping Drew to the Reef because if they're aggro, it's it's really, really good. Um, and it keeps us in the game. I don't know this person, so that often means they're playing aggro. Uh, Kevin Blaze, thank you for the two months. Get on that subject, thank you so much, Kevin. All right, so uh, I got uh, my 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 choice was went up going well. Uh, Trog is really annoying, so I want to kill it uh, immediately on turn one here. So Bruce, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Get on that sub training so much, Bruce. So I killed it. Uh, I really want to be able to get to nourish um, and get the ramp going. So, but it's awkward what we do on turn three. Uh, we would love to hit something. I'm gonna hero power here. Uh, I'm, usually this doesn't kill it, but sometimes I do. And I like the flexibility. This costs me one life, but gives me the option to potentially kill it. If I do manage to kill it, what that often means is they can't buff it. So it's really kind of like a two five that I'm killing in a way. Okay, so you can see they uh, unfortunately buffed this up. Okay, so I really don't like going starfish here because they can buff it up their board, which makes me feel very sad. But the problem is what I, I really need to ramp. Um, so this is what you have these tough situations where if I do nothing next turn and they buff, well then I have to starfish. So and this is a two four and it makes it so they can't draw and this loses one health. So I don't know if this is correct. But I really want to ramp hard. Um, and by doing this, I can ramp twice into Raid Boss. So we go ramp on next turn, and then we go Guff, and then we can go Raid Boss the following turn, and that is our path to victory. Now, if they have the three mana guy here, we might just lose here. Unfortunately, they had it. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Because um, we were actually in a really good position to win if they didn't have this. Um, yeah, Silence would have removed this damage, so it was a risk I took. Uh, Guff first. Um, I don't think we actually go Guff first. I think Nourish is better because you get two mana and the hero power is relevant. Uh, so I think I prefer, we could still win this um, because they don't have enough for two turn lethal. Uh, so I think, um, I also could go for Planet Evidence, but there's not any like that great of stuff to hit here, to be honest. So Guff, uh, we go Guff, we don't have an Innervate, so we only ramp for one. So I think I'm going to go Nourish here and hero power. And I'm going to hero power this off. Um, this makes it so I take two less damage over a few turns. Uh, next turn I can go guff, but I probably go planted evidence first. Why? This also allows me to top deck scale, which I would consider playing here over going guff. Um, but here's the general plan here: uh, is we're going to go planted evidence first. We're gonna have six man after that. If we get something good, we might change our plan. If we get something bad, we go guff and we go hero power. Uh, that will put us up to eight, nine mana, and then we can play Raid Boss next turn. They have 26 damage over two turns here, so that would put us down to three life, plus we gain five armor. So uh, we often don't die here. Um, uh, and we, we get there just in time, but sometimes we do die, so hopefully we don't. What's your name? This is the overexplain. Uh, you know, this is why it's called over explaining and not regular explaining. I don't, I don't do this all the time because I'll lose my voice. Time goes short. All right. Oh, that's very bad. Um, it's probably a loss because now they threaten the two turn lethal. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if they got in the other one, I think we could have won this game, but they didn't. 
Um, oh, we could go Guff to hit second Starfish. That's actually a really good point. Because that might be our most likely path to victory. Um, like, we hit Scale here. It's just not good enough, right? Um, so I might go Guff into... To, uh, okay, I think Chat convinced me. Um, Guff into... Guff into a Starfish here feels like our most likely path to victory. So I'm going to go for that. We did not hit it. I'm going to go plant it here. Um, so I guess we could... So I have to decide if I want to Wrath here. Uh, we take 3 damage off the board, but that's 19. We're still dead, right? Um, so I think I go Moonlit and try and hit another Planted Evidence, maybe? Or like double Druid of the Reef. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to win here. Um, I guess I could do this and hit... Uh, another planet evidence as well. Um, off and then ramp. Uh, it's, uh, it's a loss. All right. Job done. Close one. So close. All right, we made it to level five. Thank you guys so much for the bits and the, the subs, dude. Way to go, everybody. That was exciting. Was so yeah, that's the overexplained game. Dude, thank you for all the bits. Wait, more bits, more bits. The broom skin, thank you for the gifts of. Uh, get on that subject, thanks so much. The broom skin. Uh, did I say. Dude, I got my freaking. Dude, ooh, hype popcorn. That's a pretty nice one. Wait, did we get an over explained that I missed? Wait, what is a pot? For, what do I do? Wait, am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Wait, what do I do? I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand the 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 pot for an emote. Can someone explain. Right hand above the head, left hand and the hip. Okay, okay. There we go. Wait. There we go. Okay. I don't play Elden Ring, so... Oh, overexplained game. So I could have gone planted evidence there, uh, but I decided not to because if I hit wild growth, um, I don't actually want to play it. So I'm gonna go planted evidence this turn. Um, I hit living roots, uh, which is definitely the keep here, uh, and this just allows me to take up some damage off the board. Um, if I wanted to innervate out a hero power, I could here, but I think I just want to kill this, so I can go guff next turn. Uh, we go to guff next turn and hit scale. That is our path to victory here. Um, if they have the three mana card, we're in big trouble. Ah, they freaking got it, chat. They effing got it. Dang it. That's really bad. Um, so I could go Starfish to take four attack off the board, but I really want to just get that ramp going. Um, getting the ramp to hit, uh, to, uh, and this all, to hit the scale, I think is the most likely path to victory. Uh, this allows us the ramp next turn, and we could even go ramp into Smothering. Um, and, uh, which would take some attack off the board. Uh, and then we go scale, and hopefully that's enough to stabilize. Uh, that's my five-year plan. Um, so, yeah. But they, they have a lot of attack on board. This is a big... You know what? I would love to hit a freaking Drew the Reef here. That would be phenomenal, by the way. Um, 
There's actually a case for not. Um, so there's a really strong case here to not actually go starfish. Why? They can they can trail play a location here, but let's think about it. If they had a location, they probably would just play it, right? So I think, um, yeah. So they like they floated two mana here and they went to tap. If they had location, they play it here, they play this, and they win the game, right? So uh, because of that, we know they probably don't have location here. Um, even if they have location here, they would probably play it again, once again, as this, instead of playing this and get a huge buff. So the five mana guy, um, oh, I do, I do play in the five mana guy. Oh, that's so true. A lot of people are cutting that card, but I think you make a strong case. Uh, all right. I talked myself into not, um, all right. Okay. So Bran and BGBM are useless here. Um, so I want, uh, so I have to decide what, but yeah, I think I would play Jerry Rig, but like I said, I want them not to be able to, to play anything. Um, I'm going to play Innervate here just to cycle um, because uh, I don't, after this turn, I don't really need Innervates anymore. Um, so I think this is the right play. Um, so now we're in a spot where they're going to push another 13 here, but after that we go scale and we're in actually in a winning position, um, which is great. Uh, oh, they, oh, they kill off their own stuff here, but that costs one mana. Did they top deck a... What did they hit here? Did they hit a Viola Library here? They did have the Viola Library. Wait, it was, it was from turn two. Okay. It's unfortunate. I did force them to kill off their own guy, but still, we're kind of effed here. Um, actually, we're not that effed. We're just moderately effed, right? Um... So I want to go hero power and scale. Um, this gives me another ramp. Every turn we ramp, we get that permanently. So we do this, we use the innervate, we go scale. Um, so I decide what I want to trade off here. I think I trade one, two, three, four, five. So I can kill her off most stuff here. Um, and, uh, and if they have a, wait, a weak turn, um, we might win this. Um, if they have a strong turn, we probably lose, but... Okay. Um... All right, they're drawing a ton of cards here. But the reality is they're drawing cards, but I have a full clear for next turn. What does that mean? Uh, their deck doesn't... Um, if they're playing the aggressive version, which I think they are, uh, their deck... Okay, so they might have a lethal next turn, unfortunately, uh, with some sort of curse nonsense. But that, that's the title. So um, this turn I have to decide, uh, do, again, what do I want to ramp? But I think I always go scale. Uh, like I think nourishes aren't really good enough here. So, But I do actually like the tempo of the Jerry Rig because having tempo might actually be good enough. So this is, okay. So um, I always want to clear these. So it's always a scale, but then I can go Jerry Rig and get the nourishes, which aren't that useful, but it all does thin my deck and it allows me to potentially go for maybe uh, nourish draw into earthen scales and then play the naga giant and gain eight armor um if they do double curse here we take three damage so we don't die so i think we're very safe here uh the more i think about it unless i'm forgetting it out uh, but yeah i do miss out on the, the hero power wild growth but we we draw two like a card like kind of like two cards here and we put ourselves where we have a winning line our winning line is we can draw three then we can go wild blue seedman to for another chance to hit earthen scales and go naga giant and gain nine armor uh, that often is enough to win the game, uh, but sometimes it's not, so we'll see. But, like, we have board here, and Warlock has a hard time finishing games uh, without our Zoo Warlock with board, but let's see. So there's, they're starting to put curses in my deck, a uh, hand, you can see. So now we're in a spot um, where... What's awkward here, though, is that... Um, okay. Okay. So I want to draw three cards here. Um, so I I think I played this, and then I play the draw three here. Um, and we'll see. Uh, so awkward here. Honestly, so awkward of a turn. I could just take draw three, but I think if I hit Earthen Scales, we win the game. So I'm going to take draw three here. I did not hit Earthen Scales. Honestly, this was absolutely terrible absolutely terrible here chat i think we lost i don't we didn't hit anything here i don't think i have an out so close 
I need to hit Earthen. At least like Druid of the Reef might have kept us in the game here. Maybe it didn't actually. I don't know. Hmm. I, I'm trying to find it out here. Just not seeing it. Yeah, we need the we need the armor. Uh, planet. Oh, you're right. So let's draw planted. Okay. Yep. No. No game. Close one. Kept you because oh yeah, if you have full clear. Oh no, it's not. It's done. Oh yeah, Drew the Reef did keep me in the game, right? Yeah. So. Yep. But, uh, yeah, you're right. But we didn't hit it, so. From return of please not my dad. It's coming back. I mean actual oh dude, summer's almost over, chat. Feels bad, man. But um yeah. Not nerving quest hunter. Dude, that's rough out there. Dude, okay. Uh they didn't nerf Quest Hunter because uh it's a it's a budget deck. And uh budget decks are good. To, uh, I don't know, dude. The nerfs, I, I can't, dude. I, they didn't nerf uh, Quest Hunter because um, they received a vision from from Yogg saying Quest Hunter is the way. Get on that stuff. Everything so much, Moonchild. How are you doing? I'm doing much better than I was yesterday, dude. Yesterday I was hung over and I was feeling depressed. Uh, but today, I, I woke up, did some Hearthstone coaching, got like a bunch of like chores, like like I had like a bill that I had like to pay, and I had um, and I got my YouTube video up online, and then I went to the gym and I did deadlifts. And I just did deadlifts because it was really crowded, so I just uh, didn't do anything else, and then I played like thirty minutes of PoE, and uh, now we're here. As another speaky, uh, the easiest way is pings. The second easiest way is lots of skeletons. How do you tech cards for the aggro matchup? You can put spammy in your deck. Are you liking 3.19? You know, I, I'm playing Righteous Fire for the, like, so the Righteous Fire was the first build I ever played because I played it completely hands-free, um, or now I play some hands. Um, and then I switched to minions because I thought it was way easier. And I'm playing Righteous Fire again. It's actually like I'm having fun because like if I want to make money, I can like do hideout warrior stuff and make and make money. So it's like I kind of like I've been farming T11 maps and just like I buy T11 minutes of bulk uh, for like one C and then I just run and do them as fast as possible. And sometimes like I'll hit. So if I hit um. And, uh, a sh like a, what's the operative strong buck that's some currency but yeah I just kind of I don't know I'm not making that much money actually but I, I probably I probably if I sold everything I have I'd probably have like four divines so which is like nothing right so clearly like in a, in a so but I'm still like just getting my atlas tree done and stuff like that so it's fun but we'll see Dude, I keep playing effing Paradox, dude. Dude, it feels like the whole meta is countering me today. 
Yeah, we're. Paradox, a different paradox. Chat, we're in Agrodrid now. I think we go Temple of Temple 3 for next turn and don't go wild growth. Like not gonna lie. And this is to go. Obsidian, thanks for the prime gaming. Get all that stuff training so much obsidian. Do I enjoy salsa? Yeah. I do. Alright, um, What am I going to ramp to here? I have nothing in my hand. I trade to protect myself from uh, Druid of the Reef there. It's always the play. Return of Bluff Catcher McGee when yeah yeah yeah. Let's get streams with the work. Welcome. Hmm, I think I've lost chat. I think I've lost this game, not gonna lie, but if we hit Guff like next turn, we're still on it probably. I get to make like a 4 4 freaking miracle growth here. <laughs> this is the saddest miracle growth ever. I guess the saddest one would be a 3 3. Chad, should we switch to Spooky Mage after this the, to the Spooky one? Because we're kind of getting our ass kicked. Like the meta just feels really unfavorable, but like of like the local meta for tonight, but. play here but I do. not a lot of people are voting eight votes in that is not a lot of votes uh, people don't take their uh, their right to democracy very seriously in this channel I can see I don't know, it's like up in the top. <sighs> I'm so dead. Uh. 
All right, I think I'm gonna go next. I'm doing live and be my cat vote, I gotcha. How curious. Victory is yours. Yeah, I saw a path of a path of math stream some today. Even though he's banned, but he like was just streaming in like what's it called? Do you like is I I feel is like Path of Math like Pee Wee's uh, Jay Huang. It seems like it. All right, we're gonna switch to Spooky Mage. <laughs> 